Congratulations on your new addition to the family. Here are a few guidelines to make sure all goes well. Self-care. The bond between you and your baby is very special. Taking care of yourself is important for your ability to bond with and take care of your baby. Getting rest is hard when you have a new baby. Try to sleep when the baby sleeps and let family or friends help you. Postpartum depression. Many mothers feel tired or overwhelmed the first few weeks at home, but those feelings should get better. If you find that you are feeling down or sad a lot of the time, or that you are frequently having worries that you can't take care of the baby, please let us know so we can work with you to get help. Breastfeeding. Breastfeeding is the best nutrition for your baby. Most babies only need breast milk and usually do not need any formula. Breast milk helps prevent infections, helps with brain development, and seems to reduce the risk of obesity later in life. If you need help with breastfeeding or a breast pump, let us know. Vitamin D. Breast milk is better than formula for many reasons, but it is a bit low in vitamin D. So for babies who are mostly breastfeeding, we recommend taking a vitamin to give enough vitamin D. Vitamin D is important for bone growth, and some studies show it may also help the immune system. The amount of vitamin D to give depends on which vitamin you buy, so follow the instructions on the package or ask us if you have questions. Honey. Babies can get a serious disease called botulism from honey, so don't give your baby any honey until at least 12 months old. And that also means don't use any honey pacifiers. They can be dangerous for your baby. Family planning. Deciding when you're going to have a baby and deciding how much time you will have in between pregnancies is important for your own health and your family's health. It's important to discuss future family planning and birth control with your partner and follow up with your women's health provider for your postpartum checkup if you haven't already. Siblings. If you have other children, try to spend some one-on-one -on -one time with your children so they feel included. While your baby is very young, it is sometimes easier for another family member to have some special time with the other children since mom is so busy with the baby. Sleep position. The safest place for the baby to sleep is in a crib or bassinet in your room, but not in your bed. Your baby should sleep on her back to reduce the chance of SIDS, Sudden Infant Death Syndrome. When your baby is awake, you should give your baby some time on her stomach several times a day. This helps with arm and neck strength and reduces the chances of getting a flat head in the back. Car seats. Car seats are important when you have a baby in the car. It should be facing backward in the back seat of the car. Make sure the baby is always fully strapped in while in the carrier. And remember, never leave the baby alone in the car. No shaking. Never hit or shake a baby. Parents of a newborn are often tired and stressed, especially if the baby is crying. If you're feeling frustrated, put the baby in the crib and leave the room for a few minutes to get a drink of water or take a deep breath. Once you feel calm again, you can go back to taking care of the baby. Remember, if you're feeling frustrated, it is always better to put the baby down in the crib and see if someone else at home can take care of the baby for a while. Smoke and carbon monoxide detectors. It is good to have a smoke detector and carbon monoxide detector in your home. You should check the battery every six months to make sure the alarm is working. Jaundice. Jaundice is a yellow color that babies can get in their eyes, skin, and mouths. A little bit of jaundice is very common and does not cause any problems, but too much can cause damage to a baby's brain. If you notice that your baby is looking more yellow, then your baby needs to be seen at the clinic or the emergency room if the clinic is closed. Fever. Make sure you have a thermometer so you can take your baby's temperature. You should take your baby's temperature rectally. Ask us if you don't know how. If your baby is less than two months old and has a temperature of 100.4 or higher, he or she needs to be seen at the emergency room. And remember, do not give Tylenol, also called acetaminophen, to a baby less than two months old. Umbilical cord care. 
a baby's umbilical cord usually falls off after about two to three weeks. You should keep the area clean with dry cloth or gauze, but you do not need to do any special cleaning with alcohol or soap. We hope this helps. Remember, every child is an individual and develops at his or her own rate. There is a range of normal in developmental stages. If you have any questions, please ask your healthcare provider. And once again, congratulations on your new family member.